going on, young Mets fans? Welcome to another week of Baseball Fundamentals. My name is Gabby Velez, and not only am I a diehard Mets fan, but I'm the head coach and founder of Reina's Baseball. Reina's Baseball is a brand new girls baseball organization right here in our city that seeks to grow racial, cultural, and socioeconomic diversity in girls baseball. Our program is open to girls ages six to 18, and our main goal is to give girls the opportunity to play competitive baseball, all while being completely cost-free. Now, I must stress the importance of giving girls the opportunity to play baseball. It allows girls to dream big. It lets girls know that they can do anything they put their mind to, and maybe even one day get to play at City Field right alongside her favorite players. So, before we get into this week's drill, let's go outside with one of my players, and stretch. Before we do anything, let's stretch. Right now I have one of my players with me from my 19U team. Her name is Erin, another diehard Met fan, and we're gonna stretch. We're gonna do everything for 10 seconds, all right? All right. Neck rolls, ready? Go. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Another one. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, right on the crush kiss. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Right arm up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other arm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stretch out our back a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Do our legs. Down on your right side. in today's baseball fundamentals. All right guys, so now that we're all stretched out, let's get into this week's drill. Now this drill is something that my coach Sam taught me and you can do this drill at home on a wall, at a handball court, or even with a partner. All right, and this drill is how to make a routine backhand play, okay? My problem up until recently is that I would always stab at a backhand play and I'll show you what that means later. I wouldn't give myself the proper momentum to move my play towards first base. So now I'm gonna show you the proper technique of how to make a backhand play so all of your plays are smoother and you get the ball to first base as quickly as possible. So this drill is pretty difficult to do in a small space. So if you're going to do it, I would suggest doing it outside at a handball court or with a partner outside at the park, but it also does work in small spaces, okay? But if you're gonna do it in the house, you don't have to throw the ball so hard against the wall, right? Give yourself time to work on your fundamentals, okay? Work on that proper footing. Work, work on pushing through the ball properly with your back foot, okay? So I'm gonna try doing it off of my wall. I'm gonna get low. Throw the ball softly against the wall, and we're gonna do the exact same thing, right? But we're gonna get behind that ball and push through. All right, so let's try it. 
I'm gonna get low here, already in my staggered position. This is a small space, so I don't have much time to react, okay? I'm gonna do the exact same thing. So I have my ball here, throw it against the wall, go through it, okay? Same thing, let's do it again. And it's okay if, if you're not using a glove, it's okay if you drop it, right? But as long as your feet are in the right position and your hand is in the right position, right? And you're using your back leg, just worry about that, right? That's the most important thing because when you have a glove, I guarantee you'll catch it. All right, so let's do it a few more times. Here. One of the hardest things to do, especially for me, is trying to get my feet in that perfect staggered position while the ball is moving. Okay, so the way I work on it is that I keep this ball stationary as we did before, and I'm gonna step over to the side and run over to the ball and get my feet into that position, right? So when the ball is moving, you want to make sure you're getting behind it, right? You wanna create angles and create the right angles so that when the ball's coming, you're behind it, right? You're behind it and then you can push forward through it. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the same drill, but I'm gonna start on this side and run to the ball and then go through it, all right? So we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna start here, run over to the ball, get my foot in the right position, and go through the ball. Put it back. Start over here, get my feet in the right position, go through the ball, okay? Let's do it one more time. Get that ball stationary. All right, start over here. Run to the ball, feet in the right position, go through. All right, so now let's do the same thing, but have that ball actually move, right? So now I'm gonna use this soft ball I have, throw it against my wall, and I'm gonna do the same exact thing, right? Using my legs to push through that ball. All right, young Mets fans, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's drill. It was a whole lot of fun to do. Um, parents, if your daughter is interested in playing with us, we are seeking to add more teams by the spring of 2022, okay? If you're interested, head over to Reynas Baseball, that's R-E-I-N-A-S baseball.com slash I want to play, okay? If you wanna check us out more, head over to Instagram at Reynas Baseball, okay? I hope to see you guys on the field soon. Keep practicing, keep working hard, and most importantly, let's go Mets.